group after what he took from his city, big mistake. Former President Barack Hussein Obama Chief of Staff and current mayor of the far left-wing crime-infested city of Chicago Rahm Emanuel is planning to double down and actually sue President Donald Trump's administration if he decides to withhold federal money for rogue criminal cities who enact a criminal sanctuary policy. Emanuel said in an interview that the city will head to federal court this coming Monday to argue that Attorney General Jeff Sessions cannot hold back federal burn grants from cities even though those cities are acting against the law and the best interest of their own citizens. Although burn justice assistance grants provide a small amount of money to Chicago, the city this year is counting on $3.2 million from said program. City officials claim the funds are mostly used to buy police vehicles. The Justice Department refused to comment on the lawsuit. The Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance JAG, grant program 42 U.S.C. 3751, A, is the primary provider of federal criminal justice funding to state and local jurisdictions. The Burn JAG program is administered by the U.S. Department of Justice, Office of Justice Programs and was created in 2005 by merging the Edward Byrne Memorial Grant Program, Burn, with the Local Law Enforcement Block Grant Program, LEBG. Burn JAG funding can be used to support a broad range of state and local government projects, including those designed to prevent and control crime and to improve the criminal justice system. To ensure that each state and territory receives an appropriate share of JAG funds, allocation to state and local governments is based on a formula using population and crime statistics in combination with a minimum allocation. Funds are split 60-40 between state and local recipients within states. In New York, burn JAG funds received by the state are appropriated in the state's annual budget and directed to support projects identified by the legislature and the governor. A portion of the funds may be awarded by DCJS via a competitive solicitation. New York State and the federal government have established the following guidelines concerning the use of burn JAG funds. Municipal governments, tribes, and community and faith-based groups are eligible to receive burn JAG funding. Burn JAG funds must be used to supplement existing funds for program activities and cannot replace, or supplant, non-federal funds that have been appropriated for the same purpose. Burn JAG funds cannot be used to fund security enhancements or to purchase equipment by non-governmental entities not engaged in criminal justice or public safety directly or indirectly. Burn JAG funds cannot be used to purchase vehicles, excluding police cruisers, vessels, excluding police boats, or aircraft, excluding police helicopters, luxury items, real estate, or for construction projects other than penal or correctional institutions. JAG funds can be used for state and local initiatives, technical assistance, training, personnel, equipment, supplies, contractual support, and information systems for criminal justice for any one or more of the following purpose areas. Law enforcement programs. Prosecution and court programs. Prevention and education programs. Corrections and Community Corrections Programs Drug Treatment Programs Planning, Evaluation, and Technology Improvement Programs, and Crime Victim and Witness Programs, other than compensation. Additionally, states are prohibited from expending monies or the accompanying match, either directly or via a subgrant, to support the investigation, seizure, or closure of clandestine methamphetamine laboratories until such a time as a statewide mitigation plan is in place which meets all applicable federal, state and local laws and regulations, and the administering agency, DCJS, has the capability to ensure compliance and monitor these activities. Since New York State does not have a statewide mitigation plan, DCJS is prohibited from using burn JAG funds for meth lab investigation, seizure, and clean up. The grants amount to around three hundredths of one percent of the entire $9.8 billion Chicago budget. Wonder how much of that budget goes to illegals? The announcement of a lawsuit came after the Justice Department last month escalated its promise to crack down on rogue sanctuary cities. 
federal officials said they will no longer grant money to cities unless they give federal immigration authorities full access to jails and provide advance notice when someone in the country, who is illegal, is about to be released from jail. So let me get this straight, the mayor of the crime-infested cesspool which is Chicago will sue the federal government because they won't give them a small amount of money? Money which they claim they use on police vehicles? Because they are protecting criminals? Ram Emanuel is a very shrewd politician and strategist, a lot more so than the charlatan that is former President Barry Soetaro. Which makes me ask the question, what do these politicians get out of protecting these illegal aliens? They can't be doing it out of the kindness of their hearts because we know all too well they don't possess any of that.